Once you've mastered the basic method for crimping a pie crust, you can start to experiment with more decorative edges. In this video, I'll show you how to make three fancy edges for your pies. One that looks like a braided rope, one with wide scallops, and one that looks like a shaft of wheat, which is especially nice for Thanksgiving. Any of these edges can be made in less than five minutes, and none require any special equipment beyond a pair of kitchen shears. To start, I've already lined my pie plates with dough, and I've rolled the excess dough underneath itself to create a nice high edge. So we'll start out with the scalloped edge, which is actually pretty similar to the regular crimped edge, but we're just gonna make wider crimps. So to do this, I form a curve with my index finger on the inside of the pie, and then press into the crust using your thumb and forefinger on the outside hand to create a nice scalloped edge. And you're just gonna repeat this all around the pie. You wanna make sure that you don't push too hard. You don't want the dough to go over the edge of the pie plate. It should rest directly on the rim. And that's all there is to it. Another way to dress up your pie crust is with a rim that looks like twisted rope. It's really easy to do. I'm gonna use the side of my thumb and just press down into the dough at a 45 degree angle. And then I wanna use the, the finger of my outside hand to make sure that the dough doesn't extend out over the side of the rim. And then you'll just repeat this every half inch to three quarters of an inch. You can also use the flat side of a knife to do this. But either way, you want to make sure that you don't press down too hard, otherwise you could sever the dough. After the edge is done, I like to go around and just press down on the side of the pie tin to make sure that there's no bubbles. At this point, it looks good and we're ready to go. Now the wheat crust, which looks really complicated, but it's actually really easy. You're gonna need a pair of kitchen scissors for this one, and you're just gonna snip the edge at a 45 degree angle. And repeat this every half to three quarters of an inch, all around the pie. Okay, now I'm going to use my fingertips, pull apart each segment in opposite directions so that they flare apart from one another. And then pinch the tip of each segment into a point so that it's more or less almond shaped. After you've pulled apart the dough, you can go back around and shape anything that needs a little touch up. For all of these crusts, you want to make sure that you prick the bottoms and the sides with a fork and then refrigerate them for at least an hour before baking. This is going to help prevent the crust from shrinking or slumping while in the oven. It's also going to help the edges keep their beautiful shape. 